18. In Ontario, Dellen Millard has been found guilty of first-degree murder twice. And next year, the Crown is looking to prosecute him for the death of his father in 2012. A Toronto actress will also be heading to court in her case against Harvey Weinstein. And the Toronto Trust funder, Blake Leibel, murder trial is expected to get underway in the coming year. Joining us now is Tanya Walker, the lawyer from Walker Law. And she's going to break down these cases for us and much more. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Okay, so let's, let's talk about that first case. Is prosecuting him for the third time worth anybody's time or money? I believe it may be because his sentencing hearing will be held in February and because of the time constraints they have to start his trial in March for the death, uh, for killing his father. And um, if he says I'm not going to appeal, he abandons an appeal, um, a potential appeal, then they might decide not to uh, continue with that trial. But if he decides to appeal, then it makes sense to pursue it. Has, has this ever been done before? Because I, I, I fashion myself as a fairly well-read person in, in, in <laughs> I don't know that I've ever heard of someone being found guilty for a, a twice and being charged and, and brought to court a third time. Yes, it has happened before, but it's just the time constraints. That's why they have to do it for the third time um, in 2000. But it was, I'm sorry, I don't need to interrupt, but is the goal then to, to they want to just get him in jail for longer? Is that? Yes, he's fairly young, yeah. right? So he's in his early 30s and they want to make sure that he doesn't uh, he doesn't leave but when he's about 60 years old. So that is the reason why that they're deciding to go ahead and pursue a third trial against him. And at the sentencing phase, they couldn't say to the judge who's going who's to be calculating this, by the way, we could ch we could uh, uh, bring him up on charges or we could bring him to trial for a third murder. Well, the, can, you, can you factor that in? Well, the judge is, is aware that will happen and uh, the jury already s recommended uh, consecutive sentences. So it's up to the judge to say, okay, well, I'll, I'll go ahead with those consecutive sentences or I will just order for them to be served at the same time mm -hmm. so then he'll be out of uh, prison by the time he's 50 or 60 years yeah, old. We don't, we don't want that. All right, let's move on to a, a, another person who is just no one we would want to have over for dinner, <laughs> Harvey Weinstein. Yes. Uh, what, what is the latest in this case? And the, there's the issue of, uh, of someone's identity being kept secret. Yeah, so what has happened in Toronto is that uh, the person that has filed the lawsuit for $4 million does not want her identity to be revealed. She says that although this has happened to her 20 years ago, that um, there will be some kind of harm to her if uh, mentally if her identity is revealed. So uh, the lawyers for Weinstein, they're going to bring a motion in February to determine that issue. They want her identity to be revealed. So what she will have to do is pre present evidence to show that um, from a psychiatrist or someone who has treated her for a, a lengthy period of time um, that uh, she should not uh, she should remain confidential. It's, comp it's a competing view with the Supreme Court of Canada that says that there has to be transparency, that everybody needs to know the case they have to meet. All right, what about Blake Libel? What are, they, what are the details of this case? A little bit gruesome, okay. but his, uh, the, he is accused of uh, murdering the mother of his child who gave birth to his child three weeks uh, prior to oh, her murder. Goodness. And she bled to death. Oh, okay. And so what has happened here is it's it's kind of eerie because there's a book that he caused to be published called Syndrome. Yeah. So yeah. So he's a comic book writer. Yes. Right. And so and th there's something in this book that ties yes. to the murder. Yes. It's a it, it's a re replica of the murder scene. What really? Really. So so and that is what is interesting about that. And also that uh, he's accused in California. California has put a pause on the death penalty for the last 10 years because of issues regarding the injections and now the pause has been lifted. So not only does he face the potential of uh, life imprisonment, but also um, the being put on death row. Goodness. Well, thank you for following these stories for us so we don't have to do it. <laughs> we really appreciate it. We have a happy, happy new year. 